Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Riding on the success of 155M Bofors gun during Kargil war, Indian Army has proposed Field Artillery Rationalization Program or FARP. The program is slated to replace the weapons of 169 artillery regiments of Indian Army with modern weapon system and 155M tote artillery will be the mainstay of the artillery force. As a part of FERP, Indian Army plans to procure 3,000 to 3,600 pieces of artillery in five different categories, regarding which we are going to discuss today in detail. Now, this includes 1,580 pieces of towed gun system under which Army wants to procure ATAX, Dhanush, and Sharang. ATAX has cleared all its trial and is set for acquisition, which could commence by the year end. The initial order will be for 150 artillery guns worth Rs 3,365 crores which will be divided among two developers that is TSL and Bharat Forge. The deal will be split in 60-40 ratio between L1 and L2 bidders. Interestingly, Indian Army has released an RFI in December 2022 for procurement of 150 artillery guns of 155mm 52 caliber. Army prefers the weight of gun to be 15 ton or less. The contenders for this requirement is again ATAX, Parth 52 and Dhanush 52. During the meeting of Defence Equation Council chaired by Raksha Mantri Sijaj Nath Singh held on 16th March 2023, the acceptance of necessity for capital acquisition amounting to Rs 70,584 crores were given for Tri Services and Indian Coast Guard. All procurement were under by Indian IDDM category. For artillery modernization, in addition to the ongoing Dhanush gun system and K9 Vajra, AON for procurement of 155M 52 caliber advanced stored artillery gun systems or ATAX, along with high mobility vehicles HMVs and gun towing vehicles GTVs for Indian Army were accorded by the DAC. The order for ATAX is to be fulfilled by two private firms, which includes Bharat Forge and TASL. Bharat Forge has confirmed that it has received the acceptance of necessity for 300 guns of ATAX. As per report from ANI, the Ministry of Defence has received proposal from Indian Army to buy 307 ATAX for deployment along the border with China and Pakistan. The proposal worth $1 billion is under discussion and is expected to clear soon by Cabinet Committee on Security. They would also be supplying 320 high mobility vehicles. Bharat Forge Limited has reported in its quarter one financial year 2023-24 earning conference call that the request for a quote that is RFQ for ATAX is out and the orders are expected within six months. Army has also planned to acquire 814 mounted gun system as a part of its field artillery rationalization program. Now, in April 2021, Army has released an RFI for procurement of this gun system. Based on this requirement of Army, DRDO along with Kalyani Group has started development of 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system. This gun system has a maximum range of 45 km and is based off on BML next generation 8x8 high mobility vehicle which gives it shoot and scoot capability. On 22nd December 2022, the DAC has accorded approval for acceptance of necessity for 24 capital acquisition proposals in which mounted gun systems were also included. On 9th February 2023, Indian Army has released an acceptance of necessity for procurement case, which includes 155mm 52 caliber mounted gun system. Army is expecting MGS with a maximum combat weight of 30,000 kg, maximum range of 38 km and minimum range of 5 km in high angle. The trials of MGS have been going on for some time. The mobility, performance and stand-alone firing trials of the armoured cave-in is complete. In an exclusive interview with CNBC TV 18 on 11th August, Baba Kalyani has informed that the orders for the ATAX are expected from December 2023 and mounted gun systems after another quarter. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.